assalamu alaikum dear students uh, welcome to ten film technology course uh, this is lecture number 13 uh, we are continuing with ten film diffusion uh, techniques uh, in this particular lecture uh, we will discuss about uh, different parts of chemical uh, different types of chemical vapor depositions so i'm dr professor Ahmed. so let's start our lectures uh, with types of cvd techniques so the first type we have for uh, chemical vapor deposition is called APCVD, uh, which stands for uh, Atmospheric Pressures Chemical Vapor Depositions. And this technique is basically based on uh, mass transports and limited by the growth rate, uh, leading to non-uniform uh, film thickness. I mean, this is uh, somehow a short definition, a short introduction of atmospheric pressures, chemicals, uh, vapor depositions. Uh, we, we have next type of the CVD techniques that we call LPCVD, uh, which mean that low pressures uh, chemical vapor depositions. Uh, this technique is basically based on uh, low depositions uh, rates. And it has been limited by uh, surface reactions. Let me repeat it again. Uh, low pressures chemical vapor deposition techniques uh, is basically a uh, low depositions rate uh, limited by surface reactions. So uniform film thickness, uh, 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 I mean, so uniform thickness uh, film may be, uh, I mean, so we can deposit a thin film uh, with a uniform uh, film thickness. So many vapor uh, stack vertically, uh, I mean, in this kind of uh, techniques, uh, uh, basically what we have, uh, we have many vapors uh, that are being stacked vertically, facing each others, uh, uh, that is an APCD, uh, APCVDs, a vapor have to be laid horizontally uh, side uh, by side. Uh, let me repeat it again. Uh, uh, what actually we do, or what actually happen, and chemical low pressures uh, chemical uh, vapor deposition technique. So basically, as the name applied, it is a low depositions. Uh, I mean, it's, it's the CVD technique that is based on a uh, low depositions rate, and it's been limited by the surface reactions. So what actually happened as a result of these characteristic, uh, we have a uniform film thickness. So what actually we do, I mean, in this kind of the techniques, uh, we take basically uh, the vapors uh, vertically uh, facing each other. I mean, in this kind of the techniques, we arrange or we place the vapor in such a way that they are staked vertically facing each others. In other words, we can say that a vapor have to be laid horizontally side by side. Uh, what it means, it means that in low pressure chemical vapor depositions, we place the vapor in such a way that it should be laid horizontally, side by a side. Uh, and what about the gas pressures? Uh, in low pressure chemical vapor depositions, uh, gas pressures uh, should be around from one to thousands millitars. Uh, that is, we we should have low pressures, uh, which imply that high diffusivity uh, of the gas uh, to the substrate. So, as a result, uh, we have uh, better uh, film uniformity and step coverage, and uh, fewer defect. I mean, since the process, uh, the, uh, the deposition process uh, is basically accurate low pressures. So as a result of that, uh, we have a very uh, uh, favored defect uh, uh, in the synthesized uh, thin film. Uh, in this particular techniques, uh, I mean, uh, we normally don't go to, uh, I mean, much higher temperatures. So basically the process temperature is equal or greater than 500 degrees centigrade. I mean, it's, it's uh, comparatively smaller than we basically utilize for the synthesis a brown nitride thin film, I mean, which we goes even beyond uh, 1200 degrees centigrade. So the process temperatures uh, in the, uh, this particular technique, that is low pressure chemical vapor deposition techniques, uh, is equal or about in 500 degrees centigrade. 
Uh, then we have uh, plasma enhanced uh, chemical vapor depositions. That in short, we write uh, PECVD. Uh, so what actually happened in plasma uh, uh, enhanced chemical vapor deposition? So in this kind of the techniques, uh, we have a plasma. So the plasma basically helps to break up gas molecules. I mean, it's the roles of the plasma. Uh, there is uh, one can ask the questions that what is the role of the plasma uh, in chemicals vapor deposition technique or what is basically plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition technique or why we are uh, utilizing plasma to enhance chemical vapor deposition uh, technique. So plasma basically helps to break up gas molecules. So what it means, it means that we have high re reactivity. I mean, when plasma helps us to break the gas molecules, normally you know that uh, in a chemical vapor deposition techniques, uh, we utilize different gases uh, to grow uh, thin film. So plasma basically uh, help us to break, uh, break up the gas molecule. So as a result of that, uh, you know that this technique helps us even to do the reactions even at a smaller temperature. And how smaller or how lower, lower temperatures uh, that we discuss. Uh, later on in this particular lecture. So what actually happens when plasma helps us to break up the gas molecule, so it basically results in high reactivity, which again results uh, are able uh, to process at low temperatures and low pressures. I mean we have the advantage of plasma, that is uh, plasma break up the gas molecule so as a result uh, we have increased uh, reactivity we have higher reactivity and uh, the process are able uh, to be performed at a lower temperature and low pressure so it's a good for electronics and plastic i mean so we are this techniques so we can easily grow uh, the materials uh, for uh, that that, that uh, material that can be utilized uh, for uh, different application and different kind of electronics so here we say that it's good for electronics uh, on a plastic. Uh, pressure higher than and sputter depositions. I mean here, uh, in this particular technique that is uh, PECVD or plasma enhanced uh, chemical vapor depositions, uh, pressure is higher than in sputter depositions. What is sputter depositions? Uh, we have brief introductions of the sputter depositions. But later on, uh, we will have the detailed discussion of sputter deposition. I mean, in which we, again, we have a plasma, uh, we generate a plasma, uh, and that plasma, we uh, the positive ion is being bombarded at, at uh, a target materials, uh, so that ejected electron from the target, and then the magnetic field accelerate the, uh, the sputter's atoms. I mean, the ejected atom, we call that sputter atom and those are then accelerated towards uh, the substrate where it's being deposited. So it's a short definition of the uh, sputtering or sputter deposition. So pressures here and uh, PECVD is higher uh, than a sputter depositions. So what it means, uh, it means that we, we should have more collision in the gas phase, uh, less ion bombardment on the substrate. I mean, uh, what actually it means is mean that when we have a higher pressures than in spider depositions, so what it means it means that uh, it will result uh, in more collision in the gas phase, uh, which uh, in turn results in less ion bombardment on the substrate. And this kind of the techniques, I mean, normally as we mentioned, uh, uh, I mean, uh, we have to supply the heat. And the heating, uh, we can be uh, the heating can be done so by different heating processes. In this particular cases, uh, uh, we can run uh, we can run in RA plasma modes. I mean, so the plasma uh, we can generate the plasma, we can run the plasma. Uh, so uh, here uh, we can uh, it can be run in RA plasma modes. So what it mean? It mean that a wide charge build up for insulators. I mean, we utilize RA plasma modes. So the advantage of basically uh, RA plasma mode is uh, to avoid charge buildup for insulators. Let me repeat it again. Here for the plasma, uh, we utilize uh, RA plasma modes. Or we run the setup, uh, this kind of CVD setup, we run an RA plasma mode. 
So what, why we are doing so, or why, what, is the, what, what are the advantages of uh, RA plasma move? So the advantage are the reasons behind uh, this kind of mode is to avoid charge buildup for insulators. Uh, by utilizing these techniques for film depositions, uh, we can get film of high quality. Uh, but uh, I mean, the quality of the film, uh, film quality is uh, poorer than the uh, low pressure chemical vapor depositions. I mean, we get a quality, we get a quality of film, but the quality of the film is poorer than uh, we get for uh, low pressure uh, chemical vapor depositions. Uh, process temperatures, uh, since it's plasma enhanced, uh, we, get a, uh, we get the enhancement by utilizing the plasma. So uh, just because of that, re uh, that reasons, uh, we get the process at, uh, at uh, almost at lower temperature. And the temperature basically ranges from 100 to uh, 400 degrees centigrade, which is lower than a uh, low pressure uh, chemical vapor deposition techniques. The next type uh, we have uh, is called uh, metal organic uh, chemical vapor depositions uh, that we also call OMVPE, that is organic metallic uh, vapor, pre uh, vapor pressure epitaxials. Uh, so with the help of these tech, uh, with the help of this technique, that is metal organic uh, chemical vapor deposition technique, uh, we can get epitaxial growth uh, for many optoelectronic devices with three five compounds uh, three five compounds mean that the compound which is being made by utilizing the element from group at thirds and fifth of the periodic tables and these kind of the uh, i mean the uh, devices uh, that we made uh, by uh, mocvd techniques by utilizing three five compounds uh, uh, this can be utilized uh, i mean in different applications uh, uh, I mean, after electronic devices. So those after electronic devices included uh, solar cells, uh, lasers, light emitting diodes, uh, photocathodes, and uh, quantum wells. I mean, it's, uh, uh, it's something like a special advantage of metal organic uh, chemical vapor deposition techniques. Uh, it's mean that, I mean, this kind of technique is basically utilized for epitaxial growth uh, for many after electronic devices with Three five compounds, uh, and those compounds they are being utilized in solar cell, lasers, LEDs, uh, photocathodes, and quantum uh, wells. So all different types of this chemical vapor deposition techniques, uh, they are being summarized along with their advantages, disadvantages, uh, usage, uh, pressures, uh, and temperature in this uh, table. So here you can see that we have. Uh, type of CVD. So at first we have uh, atmospheric pressure uh, CVD. The advantage of this technique is uh, that it is sample and fast. Uh, the disadvantage uh, it have, uh, uh, it has basically a uh, poor step. Uh, I mean, we are utilizing this technique, we have poor step coverage. Uh, it usage basically a slow temperature oxide. I mean, we can utilize this technique uh, uh, by growing low temperature oxides and epitaxy uh, silicons. So the pressures and temperature basically uh, that we utilize in this technique is from, uh, the pressure basically range from 10 to 100 kilopascal, while the temperatures range from 350 to 1200 degrees centigrade. Then we have low pressure chemical vapor depositions. Uh, it advantages include excellent cleanness, uh, conformity and uniformity of the thin film, but uh, the, uh, it has a disadvantage that it's normally uh, operates uh, high temperatures. We have low deposition rates, uh, can have high, uh, I mean, uh, along with that, we can have high deposition rate as well. So usage is, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the usage of polycrystal, uh, low pressure chemical vapor depositions include uh, the growth of poly, uh, uh, polysilicons, uh, nitrites, and oxide thin film. And this can be normally operated at 100 uh, Pascal. And the temperatures uh, basically range from 550 to 600 degrees centigrade. 
uh, but in some cases it can be higher than these given temperatures. Uh, at last but not the least we have uh, plasma enhanced uh, uh, chemical vapor deposition technique. It's basically uh, a low temperatures uh, technique. I mean, it's basically operated low temperature. This is one of its advantage. Uh, but uh, the main disadvantage of this technique is uh, we have risk uh, for particles and chemical contaminations. Uh, and this kind of technique is basically utilized uh, to grow low temperature oxide and passivations are uh, nitride. Uh, the pressures range uh, in this technique is basically from 200 to 600 Pascal and the temperature uh, is basically uh, we have from uh, 300 to 400 degrees centigrade. But on the last slide we mentioned that uh, it can be from as low as uh, 100 to uh, 400 degrees centigrade. I mean it's, it's, uh, uh, the temperatures uh, where we can grow the material by utilizing uh, these techniques. Uh, we have also uh, classified uh, the CVD techniques and different type when we were growing uh, or we were making strategies for the growth of boron nitride uh, nanostructures. So in that study uh, we basically uh, uh, utilized or we uh, studied or we reviewed our different chemical vapor depositions that techniques that has been utilized for the growth of hexagonal boron nitride nanostructures. So generally first we start from the chemical vapor deposition and we looked that different kind of nanostructures, uh, uh, hexagonal boron nitride nanostructures can be synthesized with these different kinds of the techniques. So here we, we, have, we had a detailed discussion is that, that articles that has been published and uh, Royal Society of Chemistry Advances that, that is shortly called RSC Advances in 2015. And we had say we, we defined a CVD techniques for the growth of boron nitride nanotubes. And we said that CVD technique is being divided into five uh, techniques, initially in five techniques. The first is called uh, catalytic CVD. And then we had non catalytic CVD, uh, traditional CVD. And we, we, we are given the detailed discussion. I mean, if any one of you, I mean, is interested in that technique, so it's available on RAC Advanced, you just have to click on CVD synthesis of. Uh, boron nitride nanotube that is BNT uh, and uh, we have a, a colon a comprehensive review I mean it's, it's the article name uh, maybe the reference given uh, downstream I mean you taken the figure from that particular articles so these are the five types floating catalyst CVD and plasma and hair plasma assisted CVD and here then you can see that uh, we have utilized a uh, catalytic CVD but here you can see that uh, catalytic severity is further divided into two techniques for boron nitride nanostructures. Uh, that is one we have boron oxide CVD that we call BOCVD and thermal uh, CVD. So thermal CVD is further uh, we have uh, one special type that we developed by ourselves uh, and that we utilize I mean uh, and that we utilize argon gas uh, instead of the vacuum, I mean uh, we utilize argon gas is anode atmosphere. So we name the technique as argon supported uh, thermal chemical vapor uh, deposition. For detail you can check again so I mentioned the article is available on RIC Advances website with the titles CVD synthesis of a boron nitride nanotubes uh, uh, colon a comprehensive review. I mean it's the articles them uh, where my name uh, pervades Ahmad. So that, that's all we have for this lectures. Uh, see you uh, in next lectures for further details about uh, growth of 10 film. So tell then, bye bye.